Hey guys, it's Jordy Builds back with another video. Today we're going to be going over how to wire a 1800 watt or a 2000 watt Vever kit. So this is my 48 volt 2000 watt Vever setup that I'm running on my newly built SX500. So I'm pretty much going through it, rewiring some of the stuff and I figured it'd be a good time to make a video. So let's jump right into it. All right guys, let's go over some tools real quick. We got our wire cutters, we got some zip ties and our wire strippers, as well as these small pin connectors that we use for the throttle and other things. And then I have my solder terminals here that I'm gonna be using for my battery and my motor wires. If you don't have a soldering station, you can take all of this stuff to a hobby RC store and have them wired up or use some high rated amp butt connectors and just have a good crimper and you should be all right. At least for the 48 volt, any higher, I would definitely have the proper connections. They also have Anderson connections, stuff like that. So I would definitely invest in a solder station if you can. If not, like I said, take it all to a hobby store and have them solder it up. That's what I did on my first build. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is swapping out this regular XT90 battery connector with a anti-spark XT90 connector. So this will make it to where it won't spark when you plug the battery into your charger or controller. So we're going to get this solder on as well as swapping this fuse holder for this waterproof fuse holder. So let's knock it out. As you guys can see we got the new fuse holder on here as well as the new anti-spark xt90 so now we are going to jump over to the motor wires looking at the controller you can see we have our blue motor wire our green motor wire and our yellow motor wire uh, these are black out here just because i had to extend the wires from the controller and then if we look at our motor wires we also have our yellow green and blue so we are going to use this three prong mr60 connector and put each connector on opposing sides, one on the controller, one on the motor. That way we will be able to disconnect and reconnect the motor and controller easy without having to hardwire it in. That way if we ever want to swap controllers or anything like that, we can just simply put a new connector on our other controller, take this controller out and be ready to go. So let's go ahead and get this soldered up and then we'll go over the rest of the wires. As you guys can see, we got the MR60 connector on the motor wires. Now we're going to go over to the controller wires and do the same thing. All right, guys, if I remember correctly, your throttle is already pre wired, but if not, we have a three pin connector here. So going from left to right, we have green, black, and red. And then we have our electric lock uh, over here for our key. And then we have so we have white on the left and yellow on the right. And this is a two pin connector. All we're gonna do is plug the three wire or three pin connector into our throttle connector on the controller. And then the electric lock just goes to the orange and red electric lock two pin on the controller. Just like that. Also guys, if you wanted to add a three speed switch, it's super easy. So we have our three speed option here on our Vever setup. And then I have a three speed controller here. So how I have this wired is it's just a three pin connector. And then my green is to my blue, my brown is to my black, and then my blue is to my yellow. And you can also mess around with this combination and get whatever mode you want for whatever number. And it really doesn't matter. Either way, you'll get different modes. All right, guys, now that we went over the throttle, we can go over the last couple of things. So we have our controller, our battery, and our motor. For our motor, we already went over this. We have our three motor wires as well as our motor plug. For our battery connection on the controller, I just have a regular XT90, the opposing side of our anti-spark. And then, like I said before, we can just plug in our motor wires. It makes it super convenient. And your motor plug is the only six pin you will have on your Vever setup, so that's really easy to plug in. And then, like I said, we have the anti-spark, so we won't hear or see any spark when we plug in our battery. All right, and just like that, once we have our throttle plugged in, the motor will spin and you'll be ready to go. So I wanted to mention a couple other things. This is a battery capacity meter or a voltage meter. So you can see we have 93% battery, 53.1 volts. If we hit this button, we switch to our temperature probe that also runs off this meter. So we could run this to our motor so we always know what temperature our motor is at. 
And to run this, you just need a small gauge wire to your positive and your negative. You can see I have these ran here, just coming off of my controller power wires. So every time I plug in my battery, this comes on and I can see exactly what I'm at. On top of, I'm actually running a different throttle than the one that I showed you guys how I wired. This is a three speed voltage throttle off of Amazon. And I'm gonna show you guys how to wire that one up as well. So there is a single wire on this throttle. I believe it's yellow. I can't see down in there. Yeah, it's yellow. So this wire is to the voltage portion of the throttle. So that we also have another positive wire running off of our positive lead from the controller that we plug into this controller and we get our, we'll get our voltage from that. And then the other two plugs are pretty much the same. We just have our throttle and we have our three speed. So I'll show you guys how I have these wired up here. Just three pin connectors. So we have our red to red, black to black, and our gray to green as far as our throttle goes. And then for our three speed, I have my blue on my three speed going to my yellow on my controller. The black on the controller goes to the white on the three speed. And then the brown on the three speed goes to the blue on the controller. And that is how I have it wired to do one speed, two speed, and center is three speed. That's another thing to note, if you are running a throttle like this, then you will need to come over to your electric lock on your Weber controller and get a little paper clip and pretty much use it as a jumper because these two wires have to be connected if you are not using an electric lock. And then just slap some electrical tape over it. This has been running me well for over a year now, so this works no problem. All right, you guys should be able to see that we have everything running now. So you can see the voltage on there as well as the voltage on the throttle. So our first speed, let's go ahead and try it. Yep, second speed. And third speed. So just like that, that's how I wire my Vever setup. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time.